Howdy folks, you're watching Deuce. Today we're gonna to find out, can you use a jump starter pack to jump start a deuce and a half? Now I know this one won't because this won't even jump start my F-250 with the 7.3 liter diesel engine. So I know it can't do this, but I have a secret weapon, which is this big old mamma jamma right here, which we'll be uh, discussing more in detail later on in the video. Besides the jump starter packs, what else can you do to jump start a big old deuce and a half and what methods do I use and do other deuce and a half owners use to keep from having to jumpstart your deuce and a half? Well, let's get into it right now. Today's video is sponsored by Andy Man Jump Starters. This jump starter is a very reasonably priced but very large jump starter meant for very large vehicles such as my old 7.3 liter diesel engine. It delivers a peak current of 4,000 amps. The charger comes with a hard carrying case that carries both the charger, your jumper cables. It has a whole bunch of USB ports in here that you can use to charge up your cell phone, run your laptop off this, pretty much anything that takes a USB power or 12 volt battery power. That baby is dead as a doornail. So let's see if we can get it jump started. This 7.3 liter diesel engine has two separate big old batteries here. One over here that's easy to get to and one that's difficult to get to over here in the driver's side. Now it's still a 12 volt system. They are linked together to give maximum power output as far as amperage. We got negative and positive here. We're gonna put the negative on the negative and then positive on the positive. Again, make sure it bites really well and it automatically starts up. Look at that. And it's telling me to go ahead and start it. So let's find out if she starts up. <laughs> so whether you have a big engine or a small engine to get started, the Animan Jump Starter is there to get you started and going down the road. And I'll have some links down below and also I think a discount code as well. So take advantage of that, especially if you got a big old diesel over there to get started because uh, if that thing's not running, I'm not working. The method that I use, I'm kind of washed out there. Let me, a little bit washed out, although we'll be, we'll be up in that here shortly because the sun's going down. <laughs> the method I use is I keep the batteries disconnected. If you disconnect your batteries, they will sit there happily for the most part for months and months and months without an issue. All I'll do is remove the bridge here that connects the two 12 volt batteries because the deuce and a half is a 24 volt system. Let me show you. Okay, we got two normal batteries. They're big old boys, but they're from Rule King. They were cheap. Rule King batteries are super cheap. I've been ro rocking these for a couple of years now and they have been golden. And then I just connect the bridge here, which is an official bridge from, oh, there we go. Got that backwards. There we go. And I just tighten those down and she is good to go. And I will show you that right now. So there you see, she lit right off no problems whatsoever, which is pretty much normal for the deuce and a half. There are other ways that you can keep your batteries topped off. A lot of people will use trickle chargers and the trickle chargers that they use, you can either have the type that plugs into the wall, which unfortunately I don't know many 24 volt trickle chargers because you got again, two 12 volt batteries there. So oftentimes people will buy two different trickle chargers, plug them both into different outlets. But of course that is twice the expense of a normal trickle charger and of course twice the inconvenience. Another option for trickle charging is a 24 volt solar panel. A lot of Deucenaf owners will put one up on the cowl right about there <laughs> in, front of the, uh, in front of the front windshield. As long as the sun shines, those batteries are getting a little bit of juice from the trickle charger. Now, neither the trickle charger nor the solar panel version will charge up the batteries, but they will keep them topped off. And that's really what you're looking for. But if you show up to your deuce and a half and you've got a set of dead batteries, what are your options? Well, number one is to take those batteries out, uh, take them to either a um, AutoZone or Advanced Auto Parts and let them charge them up or stick them on your own battery charger and charge them up yourself. That's what I've done before. Another option is to use jumper cables, but of course you'll need two sets of jumper cables and two separate batteries. <laughs> Cause again, you got a 24 volt system and usually car batteries are 12 volt batteries. What does the military do if they need to jumpstart their deuce and a half? Well, they have a whole separate cable that of course is unique to the, well not the deuce and a half, but to military vehicles. And that's the NATO slave cable, um, otherwise known as Toby. And right here on the passenger side of the deuce and a half is where that slave cable plugs in. Now there are two different types of 
um, slave cable plugs. Uh, some of them are two pin and some are one pin. Uh, I can't remember, oh, this is two pin, okay. <laughs> so if I wanted to jumpstart my deuce and a half off of another NATO vehicle, say a Humvee or a five ton or what have you, I think they, they still use that, but they mostly have the one pin now. If I wanted to do that, I would either need a two pin to one pin adapter, and then on the end of that, I would put my one pin uh, slave cable and then plug that other end to the other vehicle. And that sends 24 volts from that vehicle, which should be running by the way, <laughs> <laughs> to this one and then I can just jump start the deuce and a half off of the other NATO setup vehicle. I have been told that there are NATO slave cables that has the one pin plug on one end and the two pin plug on the other. I've never seen one in person. I have heard about them. I've never found one on the internet. So let me know down in the comments below if you've ever seen one of those because I have not. The smart thing for me to do would be buying a NATO slave cable with one pin plugs on either side and an adapter for each side for two pins just in case I need to jump off another deuce and a half but also has a two pin slave plug. Of course I don't have a NATO slave cable because um, I'm not in wartime. I'm not, I'm not on the front lines. If I can't get my deuce and a half started I go back home. <laughs> <laughs> this is not this is not a necessary piece of equipment for me. This is fun times. And now you've been educated, so it's time to test out. Can you use a jumper box to start a deuce and a half? Remember, this is a 12 volt jumper box. It should not work. It should not work. But will it? I have no idea. I have never attempted to start a deuce and a half on 12 volts. So I have disconnected the batteries there. So they're completely 100% disconnected. And I'm going to use the boost button. So then. She's getting all 4,000 amps of 12 volts, unfortunately, <laughs> to the system. See if she turns her over. No idea if it'll work or not. Let's find out. Well, let me reiterate, this should not work. And I'm going to hit the boost button. All right, here we go. <laughs> I only have 15 or so seconds to get that started here. Nope. Not gonna turn it over. I'm gonna keep on trying. I've still got some daylight left. All right, start her over again. <laughs> Let's see how she runs. Nope. <laughs> 88%, 88%. Let's try her again, let's try her again. I cannot believe it's turning over slowly. Ugh. Oh. Nope. Well, that stinks, but we have answered the question, can you use a jump box meant for a 12 volt car to jump start a deuce and a half? The answer is no, you cannot. You need a lot more, a lot more voltage to get that bad boy spinning apparently. I've never tried it before, glad I did. So you're gonna need some sort of option besides a jump box to get a deuce and a half started if you run out of juice in those batteries. Well guys, that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a like and go subscribe. A lot more is on the way. If you have any comments, questions, or show ideas, leave that down in the comments down below and I try to answer as many of those as possible. And as always, you guys have a great day. See ya.